This just in. <laughs> this just in. You're it's... watching the You Broke It Show. Snap. Fucking all over the Pretzel. Fool her pretzel, just leave her there. Gently, I won't hurt her. We're gonna have to cut this whole thing out. Welcome to You Broken Show, the whole point where we just play trivial games, some improv based. I don't even want to say that. Yeah, we can't. That's so disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're playing games. There will be, honestly, just off the cuff, just random shit that happens. That's just the nature of the beast that we're, uh, we're wrestling with right now. We're going to see what works and what doesn't. This is Debate Club. <laughs> Welcome to Debate Club. This is the game where we give each other undefendable debate topics that they must defend. Absolutely. Essentially, it's unwinnable topics. And you don't have a choice. You have to agree with it. Do I've got want, three for you. Okay. You want to you want to give me the first one? I'll hit you one. Um, and this one is going to be really tough to defend. So. All right. I think I, All right. depending on how hard it is, is how which depends on. Oh which no! One's on the oh, no! Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Those softballs. <laughs> All right. Um, I've heard you say on multiple occasions uh, the WNBA players should get paid the same amount of money as <laughs> NBA players. <laughs> I mean, I agree with that a hundred and. Twenty percent. That's the most ignorant thing I've ever heard. I mean, say. it's it's essentially equality we're talking about at that point, right? Like, they work just as hard as NBA players, and you know, regardless of the amount of money that they bring in and the money the NBA brings in, they're doing the same job and they're not getting paid the same amount. Can they dunk? Um, last time I checked, that's not a requirement to be in the WNBA. It's a requirement to make the big bucks. All right. Dunking. Yeah. What about how many highlight what reels do you see on Sports Bugs, Center about Bugsy WNBA? Mogs. <laughs> Mugsy Mogs? Mugsy yeah. does not count. How many highlight reels of any WNBA player do you see on Sports Center? And how many do you see of Giannis Atetokounmpo? So here's my slamming thing. his Greek balls on he, someone's face. Here's my thing. We need the money to pay the women so we can genetically alter them to be equivalent to uh, like the swimmer, yeah, so yeah. That because that worked out great. You know, it, it well it has, but everyone's hating on it. Why are people hating on hating on freedom? That's America. Freedom. Are you freedom. against America? You, you have one hundred percent freedom to do whatever you want to do with your body. But yeah. let me tell you, let me tell you something. We need <laughs> we need to invent a way to let women dunk. That's yeah. un- so not only do we have to pay them more, but we also have to modify them. Yes, what I'm so saying. Then, so it's a it's a triple money sink because yes. you're definitely <laughs> no. paying more. Think about how much money you're going to pay. I'd pay actually. I watch highlights of the Andre Football League. A WNBA player, which I would name, but I don't know any dunk. Well, the only one that I do know is behind bars in Russia right now. So that's the only thing I know. Brittany Griner because she had some hash. Uh, Fluid or vape l- liquid or something, whatever you guys mm. call it. Um, but uh, I did watch some highlights of the Laundry Football League, and they do deliver the body. So I can imagine. And it does not matter what they're wearing. If they're wearing full-on pads, I'm down for it as well. I do not need to see any ass or anything like that. If we roid them up, that's what I'm, that'd be an up. electric spectacle. Roid them up. So how about they start getting on they some... They can't afford roids right now. The team should be doing that. And they go, they go overseas and make a shitload of money, like Brittany Griner did in Russia. And they can get injected in Russia. They can all go over there to Russia and get injected. No why, drug test in why, any. Why should they not get paid the same as men? They don't sell tickets. Why is that? They play in college stadiums and don't fill them. Small college stadiums. I, I guarantee you if they went to my little like 500-seater in uh, downtown Milwaukee at MSOE, they're not filling those seats. Have you ever seen the video of Green Day playing in a park when they were kids? No. Everyone was disrespecting them. Nobody was watching. Nobody bought a ticket. Not yet. Then once they got good. Hard work and chance yeah. provided, they blossomed. Okay, so they just need to put. So what need, you're saying is the women need to put in we more need work. To dump more money. <laughs> more money you know, into the W. Into the machine. Making a machine. Maybe machine. I'm gonna say I'm not convinced, but if we roid them up, I will agree with you. We have to roid them up first. This is a 50 50.
I've heard you say on record, and I quote, I, Jack, have the N-word pass. <laughs> You're a bastard. You're a bastard. <laughs> you don't we all know. This one. We really all know. Looking at me, <laughs> that I am from the streets. Okay? <laughs> we all know. Looking at me, that I am hardened <laughs> by the mean streets of Milwaukee. Grew up on the mean streets of Appleton, Wisconsin. Where you could have just said no. No, no. We got to. We got to buy into this. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> we might have to cut this out. We'll see where this goes. We're going to cut this out. We're going to cut this out. <laughs> 9-11 had a bright side. Oh, it absolutely did. We needed that real estate back. It was just soaking up. Now look at what came out of it. <laughs> now look what came out of it. There's a beautiful new tower. There's a great memorial. And honestly, it just really brought people closer together. It brought America closer together. Imagine if 9-11 happened in uh, 2022. We, America would be united again. We would say, fuck all these political parties, all these crazy just like Woke mob is coming out of nowhere. We'd come together. We'd start sewing American flags like Betty Crocker. Um, or you Betsy know what? Ross. I'm honestly, Betsy Ross. you know, we do need to become united. We do need country. to do that. We do need to do that. And I think the 2020, uh, the coronavirus pandemic was our first lob ball up to become patriots again. And we all just fucking started pointing guns at each other instead of pointing them at our enemies, which is Russia as they invaded Ukraine. And then once that happened, but last time you said one. Putin was a good guy, remember? He's no. I said he's not a good guy, but he's one of the good guys. <laughs> okay, he's one of the guys. If you if you, Putin invited you to go to a bar, you'd have a hell of a time. Because I'd be in hell, I'd probably kill me. No, you'd have some fucking sweet ass Russian honeys. All right, rubbing up on. You me. know, I don't see a way where I could convince most people that nine eleven should have happened. I don't think it should have happened, but I think there was a lot of positives that came out of it. Ah. We did have a lot of lost life. We did go into an unnecessary war, yes. But did we band together? Did we have American flags bumper stickered onto our car for approximately 28 days? Yes. But as soon as those 28 days were up, we <laughs> took them back and we were saying, fuck you, America, immediately after that. But those 28 days were patriotic, reminiscent of World War II. All right. That's a solid argument. I think so. <laughs> I've heard you say this. Uh, people that let dogs lick the inside of their mouths are not gross. Um, I mean, do you sleep with your dog? You have a dog. I do. She sleeps between my legs. You sleep with him between your legs. Her. So you let her a gay dog sleep, right, sleep right by your most sensitive areas. Yeah. But you won't let her into your other sensitive areas. I eat with this thing. This is where I consume everything. If and she's you just do a lot of other stuff with me. the th stuff down there. Yeah, I do. I do sex with tits. Do you know dogs have eight nipples? Oh my! How many? <laughs> they have eight, right? Yeah. So, anyways, you think how do you show a dog how much they really matter to you? Sucking on one of their eight nipples. You you, and you do that? No, no, no. They're way too hairy. Okay. Uh, you know, I... Frenching your dog is okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I lost that one. I, yeah. I don't know how to... I hit with the old misdirection. I don't know how nipples. to turn that one... <laughs> you ready for this one? Yep. All right. I've, I remember. I remember you had a friend who got married, right? And then uh, you said uh, we we're talking about wedding gifts, and you said, and I quote, uh, "Mike's hard lemonade is the only acceptable wedding gift." <laughs> well, <laughs> the, the only reason I believe that is because Mike's hard lemonade is supposed to be given onto an occasion of celebration, a momentous occasion of celebration, because it's delicious. One. Two, it's the White Claw or Hard Seltzer before White Claws or Hard Seltzers were ever a thing. It's the OG thing. Just like their love. Just like their love. There's That's the only good time to give a Mike's Hard Lemonade because there's nothing momentous enough to give someone an OG, classic, delicious. It's like giving Is someone an OG? expensive it's whiskey. It's been around since like 2008. Yeah, well, I'm not going to give them fucking PBR. Got to give them some, a little bit, little bit of flair, a little bit of exotic nature in it. Well, how much do you give them? Oh, as much as they desire. You you take a look at you. Well, you have to calculate through the body weight. So you take the weight of the bride and the groom, you divide it by a certain number, multiply it by the alcohol percentage, and how many days are going to be on their honeymoon. That probably, depending on how that goes, if they're a big group, if they're a small group, 
Um, probably give him a couple cases. Why is no other gift acceptable other than Mike's Heart? But if everybody gives them Mike's Heart, then they just have way too much Mike's Heart lemonade. No, you want to know why? Why? Because marriage is hard, and they signed up for it. Marriage is a difficult endeavor that both parties have signed on to together. And if everyone at the wedding gives them Mike Hart, they're going to go through that journey together. And they're going to conquer it or perish. And it'll be a little bit less hard? Yeah, because you have your loved one right next to you. And a Mike's Hart in the left hand. Mike's Hart in the left hand, dick in the right if you're the woman. Or if you're the man, depending on what kind of marriage. Probably more so if you're the man as the marriage goes on. Yeah, you're going to be... You're, yeah, 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 yeah. You're masturbating a lot. I I masturbate a lot. I'm not even married yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my turn. Okay. Um, guys should experience more anal play per your previous experiences. That's what you've told me. You said, honestly, I think anal play is the way to go for guys. I don't Repeat that again. Be, you said... And I quote, men should experiment more with their asshole per your previous experiences. I mean. Straight men, because I know gay men are going to do it, but straight men, because, you know. Yeah, what's not to agree with that? I just want to hear what I you're mean, defending. have you ever stimulated your, your pee? I've gotten, I've gotten to my taint. I haven't gotten to my prostate. prostate. No, 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 my, my digits. My digits. You know. I wear all these rings. You know, would you consider these off yourself you a closed-minded person? I'm very open-minded. I'm I'm willing. Then, how can you say otherwise? I just need more positive reinforcement. I need to tell me, tell me what you enjoyed about it. Uh, freedom. Freedom. Of letting go. Letting go. Sometimes things come out, but you let go and come out of you while it's happening, or things go in. Yeah. That's, that's, that's not an answer. That's not an answer. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> Things did come out afterwards. Yeah, yeah. I actually prolapsed. Mm-hmm. I think everybody should experiment as they want, but if you're an open-minded person, don't you want to take that step, next step to that, uh, the next step of pleasure? Yeah. Give me a mic, hard. It might happen. Yeah. I've heard you say on multiple occasions, men and men and women are equal. We should be allowed to get into physical altercations regularly. <laughs> I do agree with that. <laughs> I actually do agree with that. Not that I ever will, but I do dislike heavily the fact that uh, I'll fold her into a pretzel. Fold her into a pretzel, just leave her there. Gently, I won't hurt her. We're going to have to cut this whole thing out. Cause I, I <laughs> <laughs> I always just wait and let you dig this hole deeper. <laughs> this is you laugh, you lose. You laugh, you lose. <laughs> oh no! All right, I'm calling nine one one, and I'm the nine one one operator. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait, give me a second. Let's go. Ring, ring. Hello, 911. What is your emergency? Please help me. Uh, ma'am? Ma'am? I'm going to need to calm down. What, uh, what's going on? I can't smell. Oh. <laughs> 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 Fucking call urgent care. God. That's such a dumb one. I'm so pissed I laughed. How did I get you on that? That wasn't even the That's end not, game, I was expecting dude. like a murder. And then it was like, I can't smell. Like, I can't fuck not, off. Dude. <laughs> I'm a car salesman. Ring, ring. Hello? Hi, is this Brandon? Yeah. Hi, Brandon. I just saw that you were recently looking into uh, a new vehicle on uh, on Carfax.com and you sent in an uh, application to kind of hear back from us. Uh, is this a good time to talk? I guess, yeah. Yeah, this works. All right. Well, I could tell that you were very interested in our 2014 Ford Flex. Uh, do you have any questions? How many tires does it have? It does have four tires. It has four tires. Uh, we can't laugh on tires. We can't laugh on tires. But the four tires, the exact amount of car, tires a car needs. But unfortunately, um, none of them rotate. So we've, what you have to do is you have to kind of give your car a pushing start before you start it. Is that, that I, 
it was already written in the description. It kind of seemed like that. You're still looking for that. Is that all right? I mean, well, what was the price for the one that I have to push? Um, it is twenty two ninety nine nine ninety nine. Can you say that in, in thousands 20, for me? Twenty two thousand nine hundred ninety nine. So a car that does, I have to push is twenty two thousand. Twenty three thousand dollars. Well, the market's crazy right now because you know supply chain. But that seems like a minimum that I should expect is that I don't have to push the car for it to go. <laughs> 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 but the interior is really nice. <laughs> On a streak. On a streak. Don't worry. There's a, don't call it a comeback, but it's comeback. I'm calling you. And I'm the IRS. Okay. And we put an audit out on you. Okay. All right. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Jack. Hello, Jack. Hello. This is, this is Mr. Winston. Winston. With the, with the IRS. Oh, hi, uh, Mr. Winston. How how are you today? Uh, I'm, you know, I've been better. I'm calling on behalf of uh, the IRS. The IRS yeah. in regards to uh, an audit we've put out under your name. Yeah. For you, uh, supposedly. Not reporting all of, of your uh, income. Is it true that you have uh, you've sold a monkey? I you've did. I, okay, so if we're gonna talk about how I'm not recording my my income. Yeah, it wasn't I, on there. Um, well, if I'm gonna be honest, I did lose money on the deal. Uh, I did pay uh, fifteen thousand dollars for this monkey, and uh, turns out that uh, monkeys are a diminishing asset. So as soon as I tried, I tried to turn around and solve a profit here in the states, and I ended up actually only uh, selling it for uh, twelve hundred dollars. Well, the monkey's not what we're calling. We're asking okay. why you have children in your basement. Children in my basement. Well, because they are appreciating assets. Because the older they get, the more money they make. And let me tell you, none of them are women. <laughs> 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 I tried to flip it on you, but it didn't work. I was going to say, and WNBA, not having it. Not having it. <laughs> this is my list of top 10 cuddly animals that are dangerous. Uh, we're starting at number 10. We're going to go with hippos. Hippos. Yes. All right, all right. They're extremely deadly, but they're adorable when they're babies. When they're babies, yeah. That's when you see an adult ass hippo, though, yeah. an adult ass oh, hippo yeah. is scary. It's terrifying. There's. Absolutely nothing I would do in because my entire life. That's to. that's because that's why they're ten because they're dangerous, and outranked their cuteness. True, I agree. I agree. Number nine, we're looking at the poison dart frog. That's also a good one. Yep. Um, very deadly. I believe it's because they eat a specific type of bug or ant that they get their venom. They Did the you know that tribes uh, rub their arrows on them to make poison darts? Mm -hmm. So you don't fuck with tribes anymore. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so we just send them the resi. That's what we just send them the resi. Number eight. We're looking at pandas. Pandas. Panda. 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 Do, 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 do. Uh, pandas. Yeah, they uh, apparently they're they're violent, but they're adorable. You want to hug them? Yes. I wish there was more panda attack videos available for me to confirm or deny that mm -hmm. that's the truth. I'd watch those. Yeah, panda attack videos would be pretty fun. Uh, looking at number uh, seven, uh, we're looking at chimps. I think a little bit. I agree with I agree with ch with the chimps. We're gonna angle a little bit because we are outside and we are trying to figure <laughs> out how this works. We got kicked out. We got kicked out. This is better. Um, <laughs> no, we're looking at uh, chimps. So number seven, we're looking at chimps. Uh, chimps are because they will rip your face off, and the cuteness is the, everybody wants a pet friend chimp. You know I I, I mean? agree with you on this one. This one also hits my list mm -hmm. because. There's never been a point where I did not watch Planet of the Apes with James Franco and not want to have that chimp oh, in my hundred percent agree. Yes. Yes. Number number six, the blue ring octopus. Oh. Do you know about this blue ring octopus? I saw a little bit of it online when I was looking. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, yeah. So we, I, I went on a marine biology trip and learned about these guys. Oh yeah. Apparently, I believe they're in Australia, and uh, when they're defensive, they glow. With a bunch of blue rings all over their body, like Avatar. Yeah, like the Avatar. So if you see one, run the fuck away, because uh, they bite you, and apparently within like seconds of biting you, you're dead. Really? Their, their venom like shuts down your nervous system, or within minutes. It's like very like you pretty much have no chance of living. That's that fucked point. up. I will say there are very few 
aquatic creatures that I would want to snuggle with in my bed because I think that would kill them. I didn't hear the last part. Make sure you're talking. I think that would kill them. I don't. Can you not hear me? Can you hear me? You cut out a little bit. Yeah, you just got to cut. What talk more directly into it? I think. Um, and that's and that's honestly because I'm afraid it's gonna kill them. You Mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And also octopi. I saw that finding uh, finding Dory and mm. those things are slippery devils. I get to hold one. They're pretty cool, dude. They can yeah. fit to in like a size of a dime hole or, or like my, a quarter. Or my <laughs> and a little my little packer. Hey, he said he was a dime, ladies. Just didn't clarify. Just my penis. Um, moving on to number five. We're looking at the Wolverine. The Wolverine. They're adorable. They're cuddly looking, but they will claw your face off. Number uh, four, the slow loris. Oh, I have that on mine too. Dude, the slow loris. Fuck, I was hoping I was gonna. They're the ones from that that '90s show, right? Uh Uh, I forget what it's called, with those two white dudes who are like fake Steve Irwin's, and they have that monkey friend. Or is that a different monkey? That's a different different monkey. monkey. Yeah, but they're they're cute. They're big eyed. I think they're on Madagascar. I'm not 100. percent I'm not a biologist. I don't know. No, I don't know where they come from, but they're absolutely freaking insane. They're menaces. They're a venomous primate, which mm-hmm. is insane just to mm-hmm. think because it's like a, a cute little, like a, you want to snuggle with a chimpanzee. Just imagine a smaller version of a chimpanzee with these big ass eyes that look at you like they just want to snuggle you like Puss mm-hmm. in Boots and Trek. And then they bite you and I guess they have venom in them, which is pretty insane. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they made it because their cuteness was so high mm-hmm. and the deadliest compared to it. So they had to make a. Yeah. Yeah. That's a high four. one. Um, looking at number three, sleeper hit, cows. 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 Did you know cows kill over 20 people a year? <laughs> it's not that many. In the comparison to a lot of animals, but their cuteness of like everybody's approaching cows. <laughs> Dude, I can sneeze aggressively and kill 20 people, okay? Dude, that's that's more than most animals kill every year. I don't think sharks kill much more than that. I feel that's because I think people don't less farm sharks. People don't milk sharks. If you're milking sharks, people, people would die. Dude. 20. 20. That's probably how many people die in shootings every year, but we talk about no, that. No, We're not no, talking no, about that. Like <laughs> no. shooting. School shootings. No. <laughs> that's not way making people that. shootings. We can, walk, we can walk probably like, I don't know, 30 blocks in any given direction, and there's going to be more than 20,000 20, shootings in a month. True. That was an ill. I'm only going to disagree with the cow. The rest of them have been pretty top-notch so far, but 20, 20 dozen a year is not that aggressive. Number two, another sleeper, the platypus. I agree. I've got that high up on my list as well. The platypus because they are venomous. I didn't even know that. Mm-hmm. And every time I've seen one in the zoo, I've always been like, I want to hold that I want to hold that fucking thing. Yeah. It's like I a fancy can, beaver. Just a fancy beaver. Yeah. Turn your gain up a little bit. No talk. Fancy beaver. Yeah, there we go. Um... Number one, number one, humans. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> think about it. We all let humans we think are cute into our lives. That's true. And how often do they destroy them? Yep. Life lesson of the day. I agree. That was my list of 10. There's a lot of them I agree with on that. Yeah, time. that was my list of 10. Uh, top cute slash dangerous animals. Animals. Um, now it's Jack's turn. I agree with a lot of those. Some of them didn't make my list, but they they, they were fighting for some time. For number ten, I have the uh, house cat mm. um, because they are cute, and I think they, they should have made my list. I don't like cats because I'm extremely I allergic. I hate cats. I'm very allergic to cats, dude. I, I'm not allergic to cats. My sweet sweet honey is allergic to cats, but I just don't like cats. I just think they're a shitty pet, and anyone can come after me for that. But um, they kill like more wildlife than any other animal or domesticated animal. You're cutting out a bunch. Are you sure that's plugged in all the way? Yeah. It yeah. might. It's honestly probably just like the connection. Oh, okay. Um, we'll see, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, cats. But so cats kill the most animals, really, out of. Out yeah, of they're just like running around through fields and like killing yeah, shit. I have three that run by my house. I just saw just one jump from that roof onto that sedan. Yeah. Like just a couple minutes ago, and I was like, "This is insane." Those things are like little ninjas that live in your house, and they will kill you if they need to. They'll kill you. Dogs will never do that. No. Um, nine, I have my dogs only... Dogs will kill... I think dogs kill more people than cats do. Yeah, but for their owner. I haven't seen the stats. If there was so a like, home I'm invasion... If there that. was a home invasion and 
the person that was invading your home. I'm not cabinet. denying they're not good defenders, dude. I had this terrier, I, hilarious, that would chase me down the road, small ass dog. But I love dogs, so I didn't want to kick it. So I just sprint home. It caught up to me one day and bit me in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you gotta get I had faster. A huge bruise and the broke skin. <laughs> they're, they're just defending their turf. That's what's going on, man. He defended a block down the road to yeah. my house. Gotta be safe. Gotta make sure you have a good perimeter. Yeah. Good perimeter. Number nine, I have the puffer fish. Because they're also venomous. This is the only aquatic animal to reach my list. But just because. Really? Yeah, I think they're freaking adorable. You take, like, a puffer fish is like this big. No, I know what they are. And you scare it, and it all of a sudden gets this big. And if you touch it, you'll die. So you can be getting really cute, like close to it, be like, oh, hi, buddy. You're like a nice little cute fish. And all of a sudden it just explodes and hits you. And you can't, you have no time to react. Mm. It's like a frag grenade of animals. Next we have the beaver. The beaver. Those little front teeth are vicious. And same with that slapping tail. They're also close cousins of the platypus, which is also a little bit higher on the list. So that's yeah, why I Yeah, but they can't them. really kill you. They'll just attack and then run away. I think it's the dams that kill people. I uh. think the dams that they make... Um, will either break or someone will like go near them and they will engulf the human. Mm. Don't know the full facts on that. At seven, I have the slow loris as well because it is a venomous primate. We've already covered it. It's At a, what? It's number seven. Okay. Number seven. It's number six, kangaroo. We That's all remember Kangaroo one. Jack being like, good all one. right, this is a cute, cute kangaroo. But then if you ever watch any video of a kangaroo attack ever, it's one of the most vicious things you'll see in their entire life. They've got these claws on the bottom of their feet. They'll cut you open. They're like a velociraptor with fur. That's basically all I have to say about that one. Velociraptor with fur, kangaroo coming in at six. Australia's a fucking monster paradise. Dude, they are. They had. They have that octopus, and they have a very venomous snake. They have venomous snake and spiders. Octopus, kangaroo, they have, spider. Do they have camel spiders? Have you? Oh I sh- no, I shouldn't. Camel spiders are spooky. They're terrifying. They're not cuddly, but they're so no. scary. They got like eight legs. Nine legs. No, ten legs, I think. Is what it do is. they have more than eight? It looks like they do. I don't know why I said nine legs, because they're no, they're never going to have an odd they number burrow of legs. Into your skin. Just a big penis. You huh? know that? They burrow into your skin? Did they you do not that? know that? No. Yeah, they burrow into the, your skin and then stay in there. That's why they're called camel spiders, because they burrow into camel spiders. Into camels? So they'll chase you down and they'll burrow in you. And they run on their hind legs, I saw, too. Oh, jeez. Fucking oh, spooky. It's like that, an that's alien the number movie. one of not cuddly. <laughs> number Anyways. five, geese. <laughs> have you ever gone up too close to a family of geese and have them attack you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They just like yeah. come up to you and just like chase you around. They're like... Rrr, 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 rrr. They're like Are a they dangerous. cute though? I never thought they were that cute. I don't know. I think they're just like like majestic. Like They're like fancy ducks. They're fancy. That's a good way to say it. Yeah, you're like... Because if a duck came up to my front door and was like, hey dude, I need some help, I'd help them out. If a, ge- if a goose, not a family of geese, because they're... Family geese show up in your doorstep, you're getting... You're in the middle of a home invasion. That's what happens. Uh, number four, the honey badger. Everyone knows honey badgers are just these like crazy, ridiculously strong animals. And they fight everything. They have no fear. Um, but they are very cute. So it's not a surprisingly dangerous animal, but it is a cute and dangerous animal. Number three, I have the platypus, the cousin to the beaver. And I would also claim that one to be a fancy beaver. Just because it has a nice tail and it's got a duck bill. Here, the platypus has really opened up the excitement of a platypus to a lot of children, and I feel like as soon as they see a platypus, they're going to want to pick it up. But little did you know, venomous barbs on the back of the legs. That's dangerous. Don't pick those up, kids. Number two, the chimpanzee, because I love chimpanzees, and they're beautiful creatures. And like I said before, Planet of the Apes, I've, I've, I've never not watched it and been like, I want one. I've never looked at it and I don't want one. So you always want to have a chimpanzee on there, but don't deal with it. Because Number they will, one. They will rip every single appendage of you. They'll rip your dick off. Shove it in your mouth and then like piss on your body and yes. light you on fire. That's like what chimpanzees are. Creative creatures. Be. Yes, they're very, they're very advanced. Uh, <laughs> koalas. Uh, number one? Koalas number one. Number one koala. Because they're this big. I just saw a video online the other day of a guy like telling a koala to get out of the road and the koala's like, <laughs> like, yeah, like chasing like like chasing after him and like kinda like trying to attack him a little bit. And it's this big, no fear, and it's just moving so slowly, the cutest thing ever. It looks like Stitch. It looks like Stitch. Yeah. It is the physical embodiment of Stitch. And it's got like a bunch of like sexual transmitted diseases. It's always fucked up. So that's where the koala. Jack's list of the top 10 cuddly yet dangerous animals. Let us know what we missed or let us know which ones you disagree with. 